Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all having an awesome Thursday. In today's video, what I want to do is give you a highlight of my upcoming book, Before You Sign That Lease, The Small Business Owner's Guide to Leasing Commercial Space. I decided to write this book because I saw a lot of business owners that were just starting off in their entrepreneurial journey struggle with the process of leasing commercial real estate. And so I thought it'd be helpful to write a step-by-step -step guide to get them from point A to point B with as little hassle as possible. So in today's video, what I wanted to do was highlight a section of the book that is related to calculating your monthly cash outflow. Now, the reason why I think this is so important for new business owners in particular is because a lot of them think that your base rent, what they're advertising for rent is all you're going to have to account for for building related expenses. And oftentimes that is not the case. In fact, it really just depends on the lease type. So for example, in a retail setting or an industrial setting, if we we're one of those types of tenants, oftentimes you're going to be signing net leases. What net leases are is that they incorporate either a portion or all of the taxes, insurance, and general maintenance on the property. So that means that you're going to have additional expenses on top of your base rent that you have to account for in your analysis when you're coming up with your budget. So let's just take a quick example. Let's say that you're looking to occupy a 2,400 square foot space and the base rent for that 2,400 square foot space is $2,400. So they're going to, you're essentially going to pay $2,400 a month just in rent. Well, <clears throat> if you sign a triple net lease, that means that you're going to be responsible for some portion or all of the tax insurance and general maintenance on the property. So what you should do is ask the, the, the agent on the other side or the owner what the expenses are that are associated with operating the property and how it's going to be distributed amongst the tenants, in particular if you're talking about a multi-tenant center. So what this means is that they'll generally come back to you with a price per square foot base, uh, uh, analysis or, or quote. So let's just say in this example, they come back to you and say, okay, for the general operations and, and really what you're going to be responsible for for your lease is $2 per square foot in additional uh, expenses that you're going to be paying over the course of the year. So in order to calculate what that's going to look like on a monthly basis is you take your 2,400 square feet, multiply that by $2 a square foot, and then divide that by 12. So in this example, you'd be looking at an additional $400 a month that you have to account for in monthly cash outflow. Now, if you can, as you can imagine, if you don't account for that, that's gonna be a really big hurt to your bottom line because you're gonna say, oh wow, that's an additional $400 a month that's coming out of my pocket that I didn't budget for. So this is often something that I find with, with newer commercial tenants is that they don't understand this reality. Um, I think one thing that that is really, really important, again, also when it comes to monthly cash outflow is to get a feel for the market and understand what's out there and what the pricing for everything is. That's another common problem that I find with a lot of newer tenants in particular is that they don't have a good feel for what the market dynamics are and their expectations on what they should be paying for a space is not in line with what the market is. So that's when someone like me comes into play, which is a commercial real estate agent, to help set that expectation and give them an understanding of what that's going to look like depending on their criteria. And if their criteria don't align with what the market reality is, it's my job to sit down with the, the, the client and go through it and try to see if we can align it uh, to the best of our ability to make sure that they can actually find a space that's right for their use. So I hope you gained some value from this. Why? Another reason I wanted to create this video is because I wanted to let you guys know that my book launch is actually going to be hosted next Wednesday, June 2nd from 6 to 8 p.m. at 716 East Broadway Street here in Louisville, Kentucky. Everyone is welcome. Come join the celebration. We're going to have some drinks available and a light assortment of appetizers. Uh, we're just going to have an opportunity for people to network and help me celebrate this book, as well as learn a little bit more about ways that you can help you know, secure a, a lease space for your business. So if you gain value from this video, again, feel free to like and subscribe to this channel and be there next Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. at 716 East Broadway Street here in Louisville, Kentucky. We're looking forward to seeing you guys there. We'll see you soon.